Hi Frago friends, are you wondering what the cost of living is in Qatar? Then this video is definitely for you. I've tried to pack it full with numbers of what money you actually be spending in Qatar on many different subjects, such as housing, food, transportation and more as well. We'll get started straight away. Just remember though, if you leave a comment down below on the channel, then you have a chance to win 50 Qatari reals or 10 US dollars every month. So write me something down below, let's hear of you guys. All right, we'll get started now. Okay, so we'll start with the subject of housing. And it's impossible to give a generic answer for that. So what I've done instead is just selected a few areas around Doha and Qatar where you could be living and then I'll give you the numbers for those. So let's get started with the Pearl, for example. If you want to get a one, one bedroom or a studio apartment in the Pearl, expect to be paying anything from 8,000 rials per month upwards. If you want to go for a nice three bedroom apartment in the Pearl somewhere, that's starting from 13,000 rials per month. Next, let's move to Al Wakra, for example, slightly outside of Doha. You can have a nice uh, villa there in a small compound for around 9,000 rials per month. Another area, for example, is Barra City. A three bedroom apartment there starts at 8,000 Qatar rials per month. And a one bedroom apartment or a studio there, of course, would be even less. Then, for example, uh, having a studio apartment or one bedroom apartment, quite a small one on the outskirts of Doha, like some of the outside neighborhoods, start at a minimum of around 2,500 Qatar rials per month. Another option could be if you're bringing your uh, family as an expat, you might want to live in a villa close to West Bay, you know, all the tall buildings of the Doha city center. If you want to have a villa in a compound near to that area, they start at around 15,000 Qatari reals per month. Sometimes though, when you sign up a new contract for accommodation, you are able to get one or two months free for that first year. So that can be a real advantage as well and gets the price right down for you. And of course, depending on the employer and the company that you're going to work for, very often they also have company accommodation, meaning they will take care of it all and you don't have to pay anything extra for that yourself. But you don't get to choose where you will be living. School fees in Qatar vary quite a bit and many employers also offer school fee reimbursement. Definitely something worth checking before accepting a position in Qatar and you have school going children. Let me list some of the most popular schools in Qatar along with their costs. The International School of London in Qatar. The term fees are 50,000 to 75,000 per year and admission cost is 3,000 reals. Compass International School. The yearly term fees are 60 to 70,000 Qatar reals and admission is 4,000 reals approximately. The Doha Academy. The term fees for a year are 20 to 40,000 Qatar reals and admission is 2,000 reals. GEM School in Qatar. There are 40 to 60,000 Qatar reals per year and admission is 4,000 reals. Or the Oryx International School. 35,000 to 50,000 Qatar reals per year and admission is 3,500 reals. All those prices are for one child. By the way, did you know that Ultimate Fraggle is now also on Patreon? If you want to get to know me a little bit better or you're looking for a way to support the channel, head over to my page on Patreon and check it out. If you're wondering about the cost of groceries in Qatar, I made a whole separate video on that subject. So you can go check it out using the link on the screen above, or it will also be in the video description down below. Okay, let's talk about the cost of fuel in uh, Qatar. Obviously the price of fuel in Qatar is really quite low, but it does vary quite a bit as well. When I just came to Qatar 10 years ago in 2010, we paid 0.8 Qatari reals for one liter of uh, super unleaded fuel. Yesterday, when I just filled up the truck, it was 1.65 Qatari reals per liter. And actually, there was just been an announcement for the fuel prices in April. They're going up to 1.85 Qatari reals per liter. Prices of cars are generally quite a bit lower than at home, at least in my case, being from Holland. You can own a new Ford 150 2021 model for 179,000 Qatari reals. Or the Toyota Land Cruiser is also a very popular choice in Qatar. The most basic model, when you buy it new, will cost you 198,000 Qatari reals. Or if you want, you can buy a Nissan Sunny for 58,000 Qatari reals. Okay, let's talk about the cost of transportation around Doha. One really good option is taking the Doha Metro. 
A day pass costs you only six Qatari rials, and if you're traveling for the first time, you'll have to only add the cost of a travel card to that. Uber is also available in Qatar. For a ride from Mohammed International Airport to West Bay, you'll pay 33 Qatari rials. Or, for example, if you want to go from the Doha Corniche to the Villaggio Mall, it's only 20 Qatari rials. Then there are also various bus routes going around Doha. And there is also Carwa, a long established taxi company here, which is only a few rials more expensive than taking an Uber. If you are living in Qatar and your employer gives you permission as a non-Muslim, you'll be able to get a license with QDC. QDC is the shop where you can buy alcohol and pork products. I'll just quote you some of the prices of things that you can buy there. A case of 24 bottles of beer will cost you 195 Qatari rials. A 700 milliliter bottle of Jägermeister, 131 Qatari rials. One liter bottle of Baileys, 243 Qatari rials. A bottle of Smirnoff Red Vodka, one liter, 137 Qatari rials. Or a pack of smoked bacon rashers, 29 Qatari rials with a weight of 400 grams. Are you still wondering about the cost of something in Qatar that I haven't mentioned? Or maybe you're living in Qatar and you think I was way off with some of my numbers or you have something to add? Be sure to write me down below in the comments and let us all know so we can help each other out. Of course, if you comment down below, you also have a chance to win 50 Qatari reals or 10 US dollars every month. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, click that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more of me. And then we'll see you again next week, Friday afternoon at 5 p.m. Doha time. Bye. Of course, the natural beaches in Qatar are also amazing and completely free.